Sheen Show. Yeah, boy. What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Today, we are going to check out the Angler Shield and how you can get it. It's a pretty creepy looking shield that glows in the dark without alerting enemies to your location. It also makes you immune to some of the worst status effects in the game. Here's how you can get it. You are going to need to find the Slumbering Shield within the Vault of Stone. This cave is located on the right side of Caldera, just above the Vigil Pylon. Enter the cave and head to a room where you will see a giant entrance blocked off. There is a lever near that entrance that will unlock two areas of this cave. Just beware because you are also releasing an ancient and deadly enemy. The things we will do for good loot. There is another path within this cave that would take you down into a prison-like area. Head to the bottom until you reach a room covered in cool rocks and a purple glow. The slumbering shield will be sitting in the middle of the room guarded by a freaky monster. Grab it and run. Now that we have this slumbering shield, we need to become affected by mild petrification. The best way to get this inflicted upon yourself is to fight a gargoyle. They have an AoE attack that should inflict you with it by the third hit. For a guaranteed location, head towards the Mimatur's hive. Here is a walkway that has always had an active gargoyle for me. Just be careful not to get hit by his physical attacks because it will kill you quickly. A good strategy is to get close then back off repeatedly until he does the attack you are looking for. It's all about being patient. Next up, we have to find a giant who has been petrified by those weird monsters we released. If you exit the entrance of the oil refinery, you will walk right into it. You will see it down the hill and in front of a pretty large rock. This giant and his pet will not be there if you have not opened the vault already. This is because he has been petrified recently after you let your creatures out. Interact with the statue if you have the slumbering shield in your hand, it will suck in the petrified dust clinging to the giant. The shield will then open its eyes and become the angler shield, gaining incredible power. This cool shield inflicts sapped at a rate of 60%. This will make enemies do 40% less elemental damage to you, which is insane in Caldera because some of the monsters in this area have some serious magic. The shield also provides complete immunity to mild petrification, plague, and breathless. Plus, you get that free light source, which is really fun to have. While scouring the land for this shield, I came across a pretty cool event in the game. I told you before that I tried to find the petrified giant, but couldn't because I hadn't opened the vault yet. What I did not tell you is I did find a giant and his pet in this location. They were still alive and ready to fight at the time. Once I went back after opening the vault, the two were completely gone. All I could find was the petrified pair. This means that the actual enemy pair I found got turned to stone. This is not just a mechanic in the game. It treats it like a real-time RPG world. Unfortunately, I do not think it is possible to see the two get petrified, but need to hear about it anyway. The Angler Shield is one of the most powerful shields in Outward. It is pretty creepy since we do not know much about the ancient dwellers that guard it. However, it is pretty much the best tool for taking these creatures down, so it's likely they did not want you to have it. Head over to the Vault of Stone and grab this shield. It is a unique item in Outward and really fun to play with. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.